August 11th. God's in his heaven. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament showeth his handiwork. Psalm 19 1. God in the heavens. The psalmist knew little or nothing of modern astronomical discovery, but his words can still be applied to the glorious march of suns and mighty planets toward their distant goal. Voices still speak to us from the vault of heaven, though no sound breaks on our listening ears. The sun was not a god, but a creation. He can only pursue his destined path and retire at night to the tent of darkness. This is evidently metaphor, but is not the orb of natural day a true emblem of the sun of righteousness, the bridegroom of human souls, who once tabernacled amongst men. Let us warm our cold hearts in the heat of his life-giving rays. God in the Scriptures In the first division of the psalm he is known as El, here as Jehovah. Nature may reveal his strength, but the Bible tells of his redeeming love. Notice that each sentence contains a name for Scripture, an attribute, and one of its effects. Perfect no flaw, sure, reliable, right, a straight road, pure, as sunlight, clean, making impurity loathsome, true, as a reflection of God, righteous, revealing his demands, and the way in which we may become righteous. Ponder its effects. The Old Testament, as David knew it, was only a fragment of divine revelation. What would he have said of our Bible? Alas, for those who instead of enjoying its fragrance are content with merely dissecting it. God in the heart. He reads its innermost secrets, and his blessed spirit longs to cleanse us from secret faults, and to hold us back from presumptuous sin. Prayer. Let the words of my mouth, and the meditation of my heart, be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength, and my Redeemer. Amen.